Land in antiquity has been a great problem facing farmers all over the world. However, with the emergence of new farming methods and technological innovations, farmers in the livestock sector can now produce fodder for their animals, requiring no land to till. Here is how. Growing plants without the use of soil. This technology is old as history and was used in famous hanging gardens of Babylon for commercial purposes to feed livestock. It started in 1960s in Australia and has spread to the rest of the world ever since. This is done by physically feeding the plants with water that not only ensures the germination and growth of quality plants but also greatly increases the speed at which they germinate. This method of farming is mainly used in the livestock rearing, as Mahindra Shal, the director of Liwe Commodities Limited, puts it. He says the system suits best farmers who do not have enough land for production of livestock feeds. This hydroponic machine is a fodder manufacturing machine from maize, and it's an innovative thing that um, reduces the requirement of land and gives nutritious food to our uh, livestock, and in particular cows, goats, and pigs. In addition, the system is more viable as compared to land giving 10 to 15 percent milk production, while it uses low power consumption and 200 to 300 liters of water, therefore giving value addition to milk production. This machine has got only single phase connection, which is uh, uh, normally a fridge would take. So it is a single phase power, uh, consuming around six to eight units per day, 24 hours. And particularly with these units, the smallest size in our series, consumes only 250 to 300 liters of water. With this machine, not only we get uh, green fodder, which is uh, very nutritious for the uh, livestock, particularly cows, it had but it's give value addition in milk production up to 10 to 15 percent milk uh, produced by them will be extra manan patel the managing director of the lewis commodities limited says the basic principle of this method is to maintain the atmosphere of the seeds so that the fodder may achieve optimum growth uh, basically this is a hydroponic technology the basic principle is to maintaining the atmosphere such that it can get the optimum growth of the fodder right uh, what we are uh, we are controlling inside is temperature humidity and water that we are controlling inside the cabinet and the cabin is a 60 mm thickness insulated where it cannot uh, differentiate the temperature from outside and inside. It can maintain the temperature, uh, continuously maintain the temperature inside. To get the desired product, the maize seed which is more suitable as compared to wheat in this technology is soaked 6 to 8 hours to achieve germination rate of 80%. Uh, yeah, first day it's like you have to take the maize, like local one, where you can get it everywhere. No need to any like uh, certified seed you require. It's a local seed required, whereas the germination rate has to be more than 80%. That is the main requirement of this unit. And what you have to first, you have to soak the uh, seed for almost 6 to 8 hours and you have to put it inside the unit on first day. Second day, you, you have to shift that tray to on the next level of the rack and every day you have to do it like this. After, after seven day complete, on eight day, you have to remove the fodder from the bottom of the rack and take the fodder out and just clean that tray and put once again that seed and put it inside the unit. That is what we have to do. Uh, we can say for one person, it will take hardly two to three hours for the shifting of tray and the cleaning of the unit. The machine used in this system does not require any advanced skill to operate since it's a complete automatic system, making it easier to be operated by any farmer. However, during the installation time, farmers are trained on basic operational systems. It is, you don't have to require any technician. It's a completely automatic system. Whatever is there, it's automatically turning on and off. It's you just required any person, it's a, we can say layman person, it can be managed easily. Any farmer can be managed easily. 
see uh, at the time of installation we generally we train them what to do or what not to do it is every part is local made even any farmer can maintain that unit maintain we can say maintenance is we cannot say zero but it's very low Patricia Lucas, who is the manager at the Lewis Commodities Limited, alludes confidence that if the farmers embrace this new technology, we shall have more production in the livestock sector, hence boosting our economy. Yeah, you see most of the parts of Kenya, we have this problem of the droughts. So we are sure if these machines, uh, if most of the farmers bring these machines into the country, we'll be able to get the fodder. So by that we are going to improve the country's economy. Martin Durango, a farmer from Nyeri County, says he engaged himself with the hydroponic system because Kenya is plagued by a low production of fodder. Uh, the reason as to why I engaged myself in hydroponics is because uh, in Kenya there is a big challenge of fodder, a uh, shortage of fodder. And through hydroponics, production of uh, fodder through hydroponics, you are guaranteed of a constant supply of fodder. Uh, we have a fodder supply all throughout the year. He finds the method very economical since it's a soilless system where you only need hydroponic units. It's a soilless technology and uh, through this we just uh, have, you, all you need is to have um, uh, mature seeds, seeds that have matured. Those seeds are the ones that you use and put in a hydroponics unit that uh, they, they will germinate and the only thing that they need in that uh, unit is only moisture. So you just need water and the seeds and that's all and after seven days you are able to harvest the, for the fodder. Martin adds that the system translates to more milk production as compared to the conventional way since there's reduced the cost of production and calls on all livestock farmers to embrace this technology. I find it is quite economical when I try and uh, look at it when I used to do it in the conventional way of uh, growing fodder. Uh, through hydroponics uh, it's easy, it's uh, not labor intensive and uh, it's quite cheap and it takes a shorter period of time. So one thing uh, that it is takes care about is when you look at the scarcity of land in our country for dairy farmers that is one of the biggest challenges so you are able to produce a lot of fodder whereby you don't have that big huge chunk of land yeah so that is one of the biggest uh, advantages that i have found in uh, hydroponic Actually, what I would tell young people who want to engage in dairy farming or generally practicing agriculture, there are so many opportunities in agriculture. And dairy farming is one of them. When you employ new technologies like hydroponics, it becomes even much easier. And you're able to make a lot of money with no, with, uh, with a lot, with, uh, with no much uh, effort or with no much labor. Hydroponics technology can be adopted using locally available materials to control temperature, thereby making hydroponic farming a reality. A farmer can construct a 3 meter by 4 meter house unit which can support to feed dairy cows. Interestingly, the amount of fodder from this unit is equivalent to 2 acres of Napier grass. Dereva Hilawi for I254 News. There you have it, a soilless farming all the way for your uh, farm or farming produce and li livestock. Coming up next is Wai Mashariki. I'll be seeing you again next week on Monday. Until then, have yourself a very good night and wonderful week ahead. Goodbye.